how many of us here would like to have surprises, like surprise every day or every moment? You like surprises? Good surprises, yes, but bad surprises you don't want it. I have a sister living in Chicago, religious sister, a nun. She doesn't like surprises, especially when somebody try to scare her out of the darkness. She just jump and she just scream like crazy. Like my friend in Dallas, she hated snake. So when you just mention the name, she could go home that night and she had nightmare. Today we're talking about watchful. Be alert, be watchful. And I don't know, I don't like that. Be watchful and alert, like just sitting there and wait for somebody to jump out from the darkness or try to scare you. But I think today the word that could help us to be more Christian, more faith-filled is be hopeful. What is the image that you and I could bring home today for the whole week so that we can be more hopeful? And I think in the first reading today, at the end of the first reading, if you have a book to follow, God is the potter and we are the clay. The clay is in the hands of the potter. Think of it. The clay cannot be formed without the potter. And so the clay waiting and hoping the master potter will form that clay into something according to potter's will. And so I feel that as a Christian, we can't be so naive. Every year we have Advent, and of course, you know, we're waiting for Christmas. And right now, Black Friday, shopping list already on the, in your hand. And so now, how can we fulfill this, this whole list? My family, they also circulate that list. And so, kiddies, what do you want for Christmas? And one of the parents give to the uncle, Oh, my kids, they like an iPhone 12. iPhone 12? That's $1,000. No, $50 or less. That's it. But today, my brothers and sisters, we're not just hoping all that material things, hoping something real, something has names and faces. That's who we are. God already became human like us 2,000 years ago. God won't be born again in that womb of Mary in Bethlehem anymore. God already inside each one of us. God has name now. Jesus said that whenever you give to my least brothers and sisters a glass of water, you give it to me. Wherever two or three gather together in my name, I am. And so we don't need to go out there and waiting in the air for God to fly down from heaven again. No, God is in the midst of us. Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, I had a wonderful, not just experience, but a whole event that we receive 100 meals from St. Vincent de Paul and then 15 boxes from Tony Seafood to give out to our families in this neighborhood. One of the first families opened the door for us when we came and knocked on their doors. They opened the door, grandmom, filled with joy and hope with two, three grandchildren naked, topless, if you will, walking out 
and looked in our face and just surprises. Why we had these people knock on our door and give us food? Never happened before. My brothers and sisters, when I saw that picture, a young Catholic high graduate giving a box of food to this family, I saw faith, hope, and charity. I saw hope right there in our midst, in our neighborhood. My brothers and sisters, right now we're dealing with so many crises, if you will. Pandemic, unemployment, a lot of hungry people maybe get in line waiting for food. And then we're waiting for vaccines to be approved and distributed. Wherever we go now, we have to put our mask on. That is sad. But at the same time, I feel that as Christians, my brothers and sisters, this is the opportunity for us to reach out, to build our human family. I don't know if you watched the news yesterday. They surveyed and they said this is one of the first time and the first Christmas time that people go out there and buy real Christmas trees. Why? Because they feel this is the time that we need to celebrate the real Christmas. We sang real Christmas every year, but this year maybe real Christmas is happening in our family. Daddy doesn't have to fly away. Mommy doesn't have to go too far. Children and parents get together, celebrate Christmas together. My brothers and sisters, hope is here and hope is now. We need to not just take care of ourselves and anchor our hope, but we need to watch food with a positive, proactive hope. Open our eyes, open our arms, move our feet so that we can move forward closer and closer to one another. We have so much, not just to hope, but to, to do. We're living in a world today that this is so much division maybe, so much poverty right now maybe, unemployment now, and a lot of, a lot of sad news. But at the same time, I feel you and me, if we can come here in this gloomy day and a rainy day, you are the people of Advent. You are the people of hope. Make some phone call today to those people we call homebound in a nursing home. They're waiting for us. Yesterday, I had a phone call from James Abair right here in St. Clair Nursing Home. We didn't talk much, but whenever we talk to each other on the phone, James keeps saying, Father, I know you're busy, but I love you. Father, I know you don't have time, but thank you very much for calling. I'm lonely here. And so I sang a song for him, Be Not Afraid, Amazing Grace. I never sang to him. This is the first time. But you know, people looking, waiting, hoping for us. Each one has a different hope, different degrees of hope. But I feel that we can do a lot for the least of people around here. When I was in Chicago, I had a hope group. Every Monday, 7 a.m., I have a one hour with these homeless people, men and women. Hope stands for hearing other people's experience. Before I left that group, I always asked, so what do you hope for today? One gentleman said that, Father, I hope that I have a decent day. Decent day means nobody kicked me out. No, nobody kicked me around. Nobody screamed at me. Nobody yelled at me. Just respect me. My brothers and sisters, we can do so much. I think we are so blessed and we are so hopeful today because the Lord is our hope. And each one of us can be hope for others. 
each one of us can reach out and even name a few names of hope. And the faces of hope might be right around us. We need to reach out and have courageous and generous faith so that we not just wait insane or wait passively, but we need to wait and we need to be hopeful for others because Jesus is those names and Jesus is those faces. Amen.